What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and it's time to continue. We're using the Pokeball, like always. Got the hat on today. This headset is pulling the hat down a little bit. Alright, <laughs> let's go ahead and head on out. Let's see, let's do a little bit of exploring in town here first. There might be an item back here. I don't know. Sometimes they sometimes they hide them like just barely out of view. Oh, let's head this way. Head to Route 3. Okay, I just snaked my way. Let me see. I wanna see. I don't think, well, I might be able to snake, yeah, I could snake my way here, hold on. Let me snake it here, oh no, never mind. Oh, you're a new trainer, I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train Pokemon, I'm one of them. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try out your strength, you should definitely battle us. I will battle you, but, oh, that's not what I wanted. I want to go try to catch, I want to see what's on this route first, and then I will battle everybody. I don't really think we need to battle everybody because we're like super overpowered, but that's alright. Ah oh, crap, I have Oddish out first. I didn't readjust my party! Oh well, I think Oddish can handle this. Let's use Acid. That's going to be super effective, though. Alright, yeah, that's good. We should clean this up. Hit it with another acid. Should still be plenty enough to kill it. Yep. Alright. 25 XP, nice. Oddish might actually make it as a part of the team for longer than I'm expecting, but we'll see. I like how they give you Pokeballs for winning. It's, like, really nice. Okay. Party. Let's move you out of the starting spot. I need to get the Pidgey and Rattata out of my inventory. I don't want them. They're not out of my inventory, but out of my party. Because I do not want them. The extra Pidgey. The one Pidgey is fine. Because I probably will need him, but... I don't want the... You... Okay, here we go. Really? No new Pokemon? There's just one Spearow that's the only Pokemon here? All right, let's continue on the route a little bit farther. Okay, well, I guess I'm fighting this bug catcher. There was no getting around. I guess there was a way to get around both of them because that kid turns, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to fight all of them anyway. I'm just trying to explore a little bit and try to catch some Pokemon if there were any... Um, If there were any Pokemon, uh, what am I trying to say? If there was any Pokemon, new Pokemon that I wanted to level up. Okay, Double Kick is terrible against Bug type. Let's try Thunder Shock. There we go. You just gotta stick with the old reliables. Thundershock always gets it done. I mean, like, I don't even feel like... I might actually skip fighting people for a little while because I'm just, like, absolutely destroying everybody. There's a Rattata that I don't want to fight. Nice, a Revive. You woo, just taking up a little rest here. That tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. 
Here's another... Fine, I'll fight you. Let's see here. I'm a coach trainer at your service. Do you want to train a bit before taking on Mount Moon? Yeah, sure. I don't really think I need to, but we'll do it anyway. Coach trainer Oberon. Alright, me Oh, level 13 Meowth. Okay, we got some actual halfway decent levels here. This might actually be a fight. Um I'm just gonna stick with the I'm gonna stick with the bread and butter Thundershock. Okay, so those did about those did ten apiece. I don't think I'm going to win this. I actually think I'm going to lose. I can quick attack next time if this doesn't kill. No, but it did. Okay. My judgment on how much damage that would deal was off, but... Alright, 62. Ratata level 8. No one cares. <laughs> Can't wait to get the Ratata out of my party. I just want a semi-like real party. That was a great battle. Take this as a thanks. Oh. Okay, I gotta go back and fight the other guy then. If these are given TMs, I should probably fight him. Ouch! I tripped over a Geodude lying on the ground. Okay, so we've got the Pokemon Center, and then we got Mount Moon. Let's grab this item. Escape rope so we can get out of the Mount Moon. I came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like Onix. I think you can ride on Rhyhorn as well. Alright. Let's catch a couple Pokemon here. Then we'll head back and we'll fight the guy that... Uh... Okay, I know how to catch Pokemon. Oh, they move. Okay. Okay. Do I actually? I don't actually have to move. Really? Not a great throw, but we'll take it. Might be enough to get the job done. That's enough to get the job done. Got the Clefairy. Really, I, I want to get my Mew up because I, I want it to... I want to be able to use it. I can't really use it right now. Come on, Mew. Learn an actually halfway decent move. Swift? Okay. Okay. That's a that's a above average move. Clefairy. Adored for their cute looks and playfulness, they are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. Oh, yeah, it's Team Rocket. Looks like there's nothing here. Then let's just search farther. You, you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch. Why can Meowth not actually talk? We know there are rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you've got any, you better hand them over to us, Torp. That's right, if anyone is going to profit off those rare f fossils, it's going to be us. Mwahaha. Why is Meowth not talk? These caves are much less intimidating than they were in the old games. Like, it was pitch black in the old games, and on top of that... Uh, I'm not going to fight you yet. I don't want to catch a Geodude yet. Or a Zubat. Let me just search this real quick. I just want to see if anything spawn. I guess the Clefairy is the rare spawn here. We got the Zubats. All right, all right. Let's head back out. Let's get this Radita and extra Pidgey out of my party because we don't need them. Not Chansey. No, Chansey, stop. No, okay, wait. Where's the box now? Where is the the Pokemon box? That's the map. 
That's nothing. That's nothing. How do I swap my party? Well, I gotta rest him. Because Pikachu took damage. But how the heck do I... Hmm... Hmm. How do I swap Pokemon? I mean, this is the map. I don't really think this is it. No, this isn't it. Um, okay. Maybe it's just this Pokemon Center? That's really stupid if that's the case, but let's go all the way back. I mean, this is... In unless... Hmm. Huh. Oh, okay. So your Pokemon are just always with you? That's really weird. Remove from party. Remove from party. So you can just do this whenever the heck you want. Um, I'm going to take the Kakuna with me so we can get a Beedrill. Go back. And I guess for now we'll take a, the Clefairy. Yep. Alright. Now let's go back and fight that guy. I totally missed this item here. It's a good thing I came back, because I totally missed this. Oh. I forget which Pokemon that I fought, or which traders that I fought. Doesn't really matter. We can fight them all. I just don't want to get too over leveled because I want to have fun, and part of the fun is the strategy of playing through this. And if I get too over leveled, it stops being fun. This is a fair fight, level seven, but I'm still sure that I'll do yeah, a crazy amount of damage. Let's just hit it with a quick attack. I mean, Pikachu's not even, like, a strong Pokemon, so that's kind of the crazy thing, is, is if I had an actual, like... Ooh, two Great Balls, nice. If I had an actual, like, strong Pokemon, I feel like I would just be wrecking this. Oh, look, you can actually... Oh, you can't, you can't slip by. So you can't actually skip these guys if you want to go back the way you came. You can't skip some of these people. That's fine. What do you have to offer, Camper Victor? A Nidoran. Right. We'll just hit him with the same combo. It's the same level. Should deal the same amount of damage. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> Did one damage. Alright, hit you with a quick attack. We'll move on. It would be nice if you would also give me Great Balls, Camper Victor. Give me two Great Balls. Give me two Great Balls. Yeah, two Great Balls. Nice. That's what I like to see. I don't want to fight this kid. Oh, I already did fight the kid, didn't I? Okay, you. You look like someone who wants to try your strength. Do you want to have a battle with me? A coach trainer? Okay, here I come. Alright, coach trainer Kareem. What do you got for me? A Bulbasaur. You want to give me Bulbasaur? Alright, Thundershock. I know it's not going to be super... Yeah, okay, that was a little bit less than I expected. That's not what I... That's not what I want. And I actually have to deal damage now. Ow, that gave it a lot of health back. Uh, let's go with the double kick. That's going to do a little bit more damage. Not a lot, though. How 
much is that taken? It's taken four. Hmm. Go for a quick attack. There we go, that's much better. Got a crit out of that. Gonna regain some health. I might swap Pikachu out here. Hmm. That Leech Seed is the ultimate annoyance. Ah, let's go into Pidgey. Switch into the Pidgey. Hopefully my Pidgey has Peck. I think it does. It has Mirror Move and Gust. Let's go Gust. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. I think it may take one more after this, Gust. Nope. I was good enough to take it out. Nice. I have a feeling he's going to give me Vine Whip. Yes. Get rid of... Hmm. I lost the top of my Pokemon. <laughs> Attack. Just get rid of Tackle. I mean, my Pidgey won't be really used for fighting all that much. I mean, it is now because I don't have a Fire-type Pokemon, but as soon as I can get Fire-type... I will probably stop using it. So what are you going to give me? You defeated a coach trainer just like that. In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. Oh, you are just going to give me a revive. That's kind of lame, dude. Yeah, we know how revives work. Okay. Let me give Pikachu... Obviously, we're going to... Uh, heal when we get back there. But just in case, let me heal up Pikachu to 23. Oh, that's not where I wanted to jump. Oh, we gotta snake our way past her, and I didn't do it right. Excuse me. Let's fight. Last Janus. She's got an Oddish. It's probably level 7 Oddish. Level 6 Oddish. All right, hit you with a quick attack. Growth. What does growth do? That increases the attack and special attack. Oh, well, too bad you're not going to get to use either of those, because this quick attack is going to finish you. Good night, Oddish. 37 XP. 120 bucks, three Pokeballs. I almost jumped down there again like an idiot. Sneak by the Radita. Okay, so we just need to hit up the Pokemon Center, and then we can head into Mount Moon. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Such a terrible looking squad of Pokemon there. Such a terrible group. Alright, Mount Moon time. I think I'm going to keep it a little bit... We're going to keep it brief here. We're going to come in here and we're going to catch Geodude and Zubat. And then that'll probably be it So for the episode. I want to keep these things pretty organized. And so Route 3 is one episode. It makes sense. That wasn't a great throw or anything. Like, I understand that wasn't an excellent throw, but that wasn't even great. Alright. Geodude caught. Everybody leveled up, except Mew and Pidgey. Pikachu to 13. Cocoon. 
Kuna, and Clefairy. Data entry on the Geodude. Commonly found near mountain trails and the like. If you step on one by accident, it gets angry. Tucked away into the Pokebox. There's one Zubat. Is there any special Zubats around here? No. Okay, we'll just catch you. We'll catch you, we'll fight the trainer up there, and then we'll start next episode with a full thing of Mount Moon. No, 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 no. Why is it doing that? It's like when I flick the... Like when I flick... This, to push the button in, it's like... Why? Stop moving! Like, what is this? It was like weaving back and forth, which that's like insanely hard to time since you're like flicking this and it's... When you flick this ball, it's not like an immediate response by the game. It takes it a second to realize that you flicked. Come on, Mew. Learn Psychic. I can use you if you learn something good. Alright, Zubat's data was added. And I didn't read the data entry. Alright, let's go back. Let's go into the Pokedex. Where's good old Zubat? Read that data entry. Check data. Emits ultrasonic cries while it flies. They act as a sonar used to check for objects in its air in its way. Geo dude. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. Get the item. There are suspicious characters lurking around in the caves. In the caves, and you are? Bug catcher Kent. Butterfree. Just a solo Butterfree. What level are we looking at? Seven? Thundershock might actually one-shot this. Yep. Easy one-shot. Hundred and twenty four XP, really, it was worth that much. Kakuna to level seven. I'd be okay actually playing through with a B drill in the party, so I kinda have it fledged out. I know you can get one starter at least. So it'll be Pikachu, Mew, Charizard. I hate having multiple fire types, but probably a nine tails. And I'm gonna fight this chick as well. We're gonna search the first floor here, real quick. Um, while well, I talk, but potentially a Nine Tails. I, I don't know. It feels dumb to have multiple, but potentially a Nine Tails. And then Beedrill kind of makes sense. There's not a whole lot else other than Legendaries, which we won't get those now. We'll get them later. So other than that, I, I think it makes sense to to just kind of use a Beedrill. It's something different. I really like Beedrill as a Pokemon. I just never really had a use for him in a lot of the games. Can we get the two shot? Yes, we can. Just too good. This Pikachu is just too good. 47 XP. Last Evelyn. 160 bucks and three Pokeballs. Oh, there's a lot up here. I'm gonna... We'll we'll hear what Jesse has to say, and then we'll call it. Ugh, oh, you're pretty fast, kid. Okay, let me explore down here real quick. Oh my gosh, it's an Onyx. Alright, let's catch the Onyx. Wow, this thing is gigantic on my screen. Holy crap. I feel like I should use... A raspberry. Use the raspberry. And I feel like this is... We got 14 great balls. Let's use a great ball. Right off the dome. Three. Boom. 
Caught the Onyx, nice. Wow, that was worth a lot of experience. 108, Pikachu to 14. Pidgey to 12. Oddish to 12. Clefairy to 10. Poison Powder, nice. The Oddish might actually hang out here for a while because of kind of some of the strats that I can use them for. I don't know if I'll need to use strats for this, but because it's pretty easy so far. Onyx. Burrows at high speed in search of food. The tunnels it leaves are used as homes by Diglets. That's pretty cool. I didn't actually know that. Alright, I think that should probably do it for this episode. I mean... This dude is looking at me. Ah... Uh, this is, Okay, this is not dead-end territory. Guess we could search a little bit farther before I call it. I'm looking... I don't know how repels are going to work in this game with... Okay, so here we are. We're back at the ladder. Okay, so that'll do it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we will take on Mount Moon. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu.